Okay, we will be now working the blue probability slice and looking at die rolling. It says an ordinary fair die is a cube with the numbers 1 through 6 on the sides represented by painted spots. Now imagine that such a die is rolled twice in succession and that the face values of the two rolls are then out added together. This sum is recorded as the outcome of a single trial of a random experiment. And then they ask us two questions about uh, about those roles. So what we might want to do next is take a quick lesson, lesson uh, on how this all is going to work. And let me show you here a typical, typical die. If we would roll that, uh, this die of course has the uh, numbers uh, 1 through 6 on there just like they're talking about. And uh, what we're going to do is to roll this die two times in each of these experiments. So we roll the first time and we see that it's a 1. So our first roll is a 1. Our second roll is a 4. And so with a 1 and a 4, what we would have then is a total of 5. So that's uh, how that turned out. But as you can see, there will be a number of different ways that this could happen. For example, a 1 plus a 1 would be a 2. A 2 plus a 1 would be a 3. A 3 and 1 is 4, and so on. We can do any of these anywhere on the chart. Let's go ahead and take a couple minutes. You might want to make these charts for your notes as well. And what we'll do is let's go ahead and just complete this because we will use this many many, many times on these problems. Now, let me finish that. And here is my completed chart that basically shows all the different ways that the uh, two dice can roll. For example, if you roll, uh, uh, say, a uh, four on the first and a five on the second, that would be here, and that total would be nine. Uh, of course, if you rolled the boxcars, you'd have six on the first die, you'd have six on the second die. Bring those together here, you'd have a sum of 12, and so on, much like uh, playing Monopoly. Now, they're going to ask us particular questions about uh, this a particular configuration. And one thing that we want to notice is how we do a basic probability calculation. First of all, uh, the probability of basically anything. When you want to calculate the chance of a certain thing happening, you're always going to make that a fraction. The top of the fraction is going to be the number of ways to get A, that it stands for whatever it is that you want, divided by the total number of ways. Now, when it comes to talking about these dice and the roll, there are going to be 36 different ways this can happen, because if you count every one of these numbers inside the box, you will find here that all of these total 36, because there's six rows of 6, 6 times 6 is 36, and so any of the problems that come up in die rolling are always going to be fractions that are out of 36, and so that will happen every single time. What we're going to have to do now is to go back to Alex, look at the particular problems that they give us, and then calculate some of these probabilities. So back over to the problem. Now, the first thing that they're going to ask us here for event A is going to be the sum is greater than 8. So we go back here and we look at our chart. And they say the sum is greater than 8. Well, that means that it could be 9, 10, 11, or 12. So it could only be these possibilities. It's got to be greater than 8. It doesn't include 8. So it's got to be just these possibilities. So let's just count them. We can see that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of those all together. So our probability that we're going to want then is going to be this fraction 10 out of 36. So the probability of A, in this case the numbers here uh, that are greater than 8, are going to be 10 out of 36. Now, they may well want this to be expressed as a decimal. So let's go back and see what it is that they want. Notice here that um, the sum greater than 8 is going to have to be expressed um, 
to two decimal places. So let's grab our calculator. Uh, obviously we have 10 over 36 or 1036, 10 divided by 36, which turns out to be 0.2777 forever. And then there's an eight out here. We want to round this to two decimal places. So we see there's a seven in the second decimal place and in the third place also a seven. So that third place seven is going to roll us up here. So we're going to have the decimal 0 0.28 for our first answer. Okay, now as we get to our second answer, we want the sum to be divisible by 2 or 5 or both. Okay, 2 or 5 or both. So let's go back over here and take a look at our notes. Okay, now they want to this time calculate the probability that the sum of the two dice is divisible by two or five or both. So what I've done was basically to write out all the possible sums. Of course one and one makes two all the way up through six and six makes twelve. Let's just write all of those out and see which ones of those we're talking about. Well the sum divisible by two, uh, that would be two because two is divisible by two. Four is divisible by two. In fact it would be all the even numbers. So six, eight, ten, and twelve. Now, also, it could be f divisible by 5, so that would be 5. 5 times 1 is 5, and 5 times 2 is 10, so we've kind of got the 10 included in there twice, but it says or both, so we're going to be interested in these values. Now what we'll simply do is to go back to our chart and find out how many twos there are, how many fours, how many fives, and so on. So I go over here and look at my chart, and on the twos, I notice that there's just one of those. And I'm going to start adding these up. On the fours, well, on my fours, they're on this diagonal, there's one, two, three of those, so there are three fours. Uh, how about fives? One, two, three, four. So there's going to be four of those. Uh, on the sixes, on the sixes, well, there's going to be one, two, three, four, five of those. So plus five. Uh, eights, we're going to want to find the eights. So there's going to be one, two, three, four, five of those. Okay. Uh, the tens, there's going to be three of those. And the twelves, there's going to just be one twelve on the chart right there. So we can see that there's one of those. So what we're going to need to do is to simply add all of those numbers up. And for that total, I get 22. So what we're going to do then is to um, go ahead and calculate our probability. Once again, the probability of B is going to be the total ways to get B, in our case 22, divided by the total ways possible, which is going to be 36. So we're going to take our Alex calculator here. Uh, we're going to divide that out. So we will take our 22, divide that by our 36. We're going to get 0 0.611111 forever, and so rounding to two decimal places, 0 0.61. Let's check and see that Alex is happy, and they are.